How's this for a stage? A rivalry Sunday. They don't elimination play. game Sunday. It don't get any better than this. Dallas deals. Off ah. we go. And he's been solid in the postseason too against Oral Roberts in the region. Only gave up a one run. Only three runs did he give up against Louisville in the Super Regional. But this is a deep lineup throughout for Texas. Don't forget about it. I mean, their school record for home runs was 81. They've hit 128 into the game now. Up and in, and Hodo is on to start the ball game. 1-1. One, one. On the ground, left side, past the dive of Cole Kaler in the left center. Hodo motors to third, and Texas has the first two on to start the day. Oh, what a nice piece of hitting. His 2-2 two -two. Mm. struck him out. So a lot of fastballs, and then he goes to that. That's the difference maker for Micah Dallas. Opponents only hitting 193 off that flatter. And I'm going to tell you what, you can't throw one any better than that. Long hold, runner goes from first, and the 2-2 is popped up toward first. And Jack Moss is there and pops. First pitch swinging in the left field, base hit, and the Longhorn strike first. Boy, Austin Todd, that's that experience coming up right there. He'll need to do work on the inside part, too. Dallas strikes out Messenger, but Texas strikes first. Second year left-hander from Los Angeles who has had a breakout sophomore season. You see the numbers, the ERA and the twos. This is a veteran lineup for Texas A&M, and I think their approach and what they've done really well all year long is hit the ball the other way. 0-2 to Werner. On the ground left side, and a nice pick by Skyler Messenger. Throws out Werner. This is hammered in the air right field as Dylan Campbell goes back on the track. Nearly collides with Hodo, who makes the catch. Lucas Gordon tried to go away with the fastball, left it more middle in is where it was. And a nice job by Jack Moss. The wind is blowing in pretty good, the inside part. Tried to come in again, and a jumping catch by Ivan Melendez. 3-2 to Silas. Ah! His strike three call. Third K already for Micah Dallas. Pitch of the plate appearance. On the ground to third. And on the backhand, Werner not in time. Fielded it on his heels, and Dylan Campbell is on with one out in the second. And that's exactly what happened. Got back on his heels enough. That's the ball you'd like to see him charge and try to get it before the short hop. Redshirt sophomore shortstop from the ninth spot. Runner goes, clutches, throw. Does not get him as the ball pops out. Boy, that was a good throw from Troy Clutch, but Campbell safe at second. Well, you can't do it any better than this if you're Troy Clutch. He got a pitch he can handle, too. 2-2. Two -two. On the ground, back at Dallas, who tumbles, flips, retires Faltini with Campbell. Yanks it left side. That's a fair ball down the line in left. It scores Campbell. And Hodo's got a run scoring double with two outs in the second. Boy, there's your extra opportunity, right? Texas A&M should be off the field, but because of an error. 2-1. Pulled right side, and Moss gobbles on a hop and retires Kennedy. Strong spots in their hearts. This is lined in the left by Austin Bose to begin the bottom of the second. A bobble out there for Eric Kennedy, and Austin Boast is the first Aggie base runner with Texas A&M down too early. Boy, Austin Boast has had a big year for Texas A&M. Came in hitting 357, 10 home runs. He'll still have bat left for that pitch right there, the changeup. It's a rollover, and Faltini's throw to third cuts down Boast. He's been good. His 3-2 is outside, and he walks Troy Clutch be available today. Line drive in the left field toward the corner. Kennedy chases. It's off the top of the wall. Targach scores, and the Aggies are on the board here in the second. Uh, what did we say early about the approach from Texas A&M off of Gordon, right? See the ball. Let the ball travel. Try to hit it the other way because you know he's got the really good changeup. And I tell you what, Minnick does this perfectly. Fastball up and away. 3-2 again. In the air, left field, falling fast in front of Kennedy. 
Clock scores, and this game is tied. But that right there is Texas A&M's offensive season in a nutshell. Get down early. Get down 0-2, 1-2. Take some pitches. Foul off some really tough ones, and then find a way. SEC weekends. Kaler bunts, and it spins foul. Dua Lipa. Runner at third, thought about it, and Brett Menick stays put. On the eighth pitch, runner goes from first, and that is strike three calls. Trevor Werner's got a ton of natural ability. And back to the top for Trevor Werner. Coming back. 0-2. Another 0-2. Off, not over. 1-2 pitch. 1-2 again. 1-2. A appearance. Another 3-2. On a line to left field, that's a base hit. Minnick and Thompson score, and Trevor Warner wins the battle. Maybe the best at bat I have seen here at the College World Series on the 11th pitch after fighting off fastballs up, fastballs away, changeups down, breaking balls. Trevor Warner gets a 3 2 changeup and hits it out the left center field. Swung out and miss. Moss strikes out, but the damage is done. And he hears all the time from Nolan Arenado. Melendez rockets this one to left, but right at Dylan Rock. Is to a win this year, including the Golden Spikes Award. First pitch swinging from Murphy Staley, and 2-1 from Dallas. And Todd hits it on the screws into center field, and that's a base hit. Two out single for the Longhorns. It's got to be a little bit of a draw. On the ground sharply. Kaler stabs, goes to second, in time. So he said at the time, I, I had to earn my stripes. Two out walk and Targach is on. Two, two. On the ground, left side, and Messenger scoops. And it gets away from Melendez. Targach to third. Clutch at second. Melendez gets to his feet. And they're going to award Targach home. Wow. It almost felt like Melendez took his eye off the ball, thinking about making the tag. And the ball tips off his glove and starts to trickle towards the dugout. He kicks it into the dugout. 0 2 to Minnick. Mm. A wave and a miss. Day three. First pitch swinging from Silas Ardwan into deep right center field, and Jordan Thompson drops the ball. Ardwan takes a big turn and stops it second, and he is aboard to begin the fourth. Somebody called the ball. You could hear it in our microphones. Up high ball four. In the air, right side, comes in to make the catch, and Ardwan will not test that arm. The pitch. In the center, out of the outfield grass, infield fly rule in effect. First pitch swinging, Kennedy in the air, right center field, and Medic gives way to Thompson. Pulled down the left field line by Thompson, and that hits the base of the wall. And he's got a stand up double to begin the bottom of the fourth. Well, you talk about complete production. That's one of the things we talked about. One through nine in this Texas A&M lineup. Taylor does drop it down, and Southern bobbles, but got it there in time. Southern's one, two. He struck him out with that slider. Two gone. Two, two to Moss. Pulled right field, base hit, and the Aggies add on. Two strikes, two outs. Jack Moss comes through, and the lead is four for Texas A&M. The bracket here, how it looks. This is the first elimination game. 3-2 is low, and it's ball four. 1-2 to Bose. Hung on to by Ardwan. The Aggies staying loose. First pitch hits Ivan Melendez. No, not even for a second. Check swing roller back at Micah Dallas with a bobble, but an accurate throw. Just one out away. On the ground right at Kaler at short. Picked out by Moss. Andre Duplantier has this one served in the left and in front of Kennedy. Yeah, I'm going to throw it right down the middle. Hope he hits it too far. 
Fox lines this one to the gap in left center field, and with Targotch on the move, Targotch singled, Klotch singled, and now Menick skies one out of the outfield grass. And it drops down between Campbell and Staley. And they are loaded on a windy afternoon for the Aggies. On a 3-1. Ball four, Harrison walks in a run. Harrison deals. On the ground towards short, Faltini flips. Staley turns, it's two. He's in back to the top for Trevor Warner. First pitch swinging right at Staley. And on two pitches, the inning is over. And then when you get them, do that right there, put a barrel on them. And that's a perfect example, right? You get down 2-0 or you get up 2-0 as a hitter. He's been aboard twice, and he bunts. Dallas forced to field. Campbell can fly, and he's on. That's what you're talking about with this A&M defense. Force them to make a play, and Campbell does, and the first two have reached. The ultra competitor who stepped up in an elimination game today for the Aggies. 2-2. Valtini strikes out. 2-2. Two -two. Mm. Strike three calls. Hodo doesn't like it. Polish with another punch out. Everybody, this is the pitch we're going to throw. It's a fastball, and Daly fouled it back. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, the cameras have. The payoff okay. is low. What a take. And Mitch Daly's fired up. The favorite for the Golden Spikes Award. Big season. First pitch. First pitch swinging, and he lines it foul. 0 1. 0 2. 0 2 again. 1 2. Oh. Strike three called with a fastball. Wow. And Oklahoma. On a line to left at Campbell. I'm going to say ready to go. Austin Todd on a line in the left for a one out single in front of Dylan Rock. 2 2. In the air, right field. And Minnick ends the inning. And a leadoff walk. Yeah, 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 Pickoff yeah, yeah. throw gets away. And Targach moves up 90. 2-2. Two -two. Chopper right side past Oliveras who covers. And it gets the toss. They used to. The stuff seems to be better. But I wonder if that's got something to do with it. Runner goes from first. Silas Ardoin's throw does not get him. And Targot scores from third. And Thompson stays on the bag. Insurance for Texas A&M here in the seventh. These lineups are here in Omaha. And that's the reason why they get here is because they are complete. Trey Faltini throws out Cole Kaler. Ninth pitch. And Hodo walks. He and the Longhorns will not go quietly. 2-2 two -two home. Struck him out. Got him with the breaking ball. Texas leaves a man. Morehouse looking for a 1-2-3. Two -three. It's 2-2. Two -two. Hits Dylan Rock. He takes off. Oh, no. There he goes. The Yankees up by seven and on appeal. No swing from Bose. Pulled. Fair down the line into the left field corner. Boast scores Rock from second. And it is 10-2, Texas A&M. Beautiful breaking ball from Zane Morehouse, who strikes out three but yields one. Could get retired someday. He hits it on the ground to Cole Kaler at short. He throws him out. These, these experiences are valuable. And you see more and more kids turning the college way. And he skies this one to left. Rock retreats. Aggies win. Texas A&M fights off elimination. Takes down Texas and stays alive. And in the process, ends the season of Ivan Melendez and the Longhorns and Micah Dallas and company.